Hi everyone, it's Kevin Healy from Focus Events and I'm back here in the beautiful West Sussex Downs country, uh, which is actually where we're based. And as you can see, I've got here with me two cruisers. These are the new BMW R18s. This is the R18 itself, okay? And this one here is the R18 Classic. I rode this one down in Spain and I rode this one here in West Sussex. What is it about? Well, it's BMW's re-entry back into the cruiser market in a big way with both of these bikes. And it's also, when you're sitting on this uh, wonderful looking machine, it's about these bad boys. It's like sitting on half a gypsy moth when you're riding along, these two massive cylinders. So let's go to the next part of the video, which is gonna show us riding in Spain and here in West Sussex. And then I'm gonna come back to you after and I'll tell you what I really think about both of these machines. Thank you. Here we are everyone, back again. <laughs> In fact, we haven't left here, uh, but we just wanted to show you those uh, lovely riding videos. And this bike that I'm sitting on here is the R18 First Edition. Uh, this is the bike that I rode in Spain. Really, really liked it. Love the engine. Um, love the feel when you're just sitting on it. You know, those massive cylinders as you're riding along here, you know, with these two great big pots sitting out in front of you. Um, what's it all about? 90 horsepower? doesn't sound like a lot but it's the 150 newton meters of torque that this thing is offering you at any time when you open this it's really easy being the first edition it's got a lot of chrome extra stuff in it and it's got things like berlin built on it which i really like as well and we'll show you some other stuff as well which has got different modes it's got rain rock and roll how cool is that Whoever the guy was in BMW who thought those up, I think it was pretty cool. Some guys, of course, will go, well, what's that about? But I think it's really cool. From a personal choice, I really like it. Um, it's the other things as well. I mean, this being the first edition, it's got this lovely black paint with this silver pinstripe on it. Uh, it's got this lovely um, fuel cap on it. 
Have a look at this, Becky. Becky's on the camera. I know it's a silly little thing, but I just love this. It just, it is classic. It is classic. Yeah, it does it for me. It's funny little things that do it for me these days, but it does it for me. Um, yeah, what else, what is it to, to ride like? Well, yeah, you sit there, it's comfortable. And when I rode it in Spain, I thought, yeah, I could, I could, really, I could really get on with this, I think. Um, I found it a little bit firm, and we can talk about that in a moment when we get to the classic. Um, little things like it didn't have cruise control, but they fixed that. Let's talk about that in a minute. Um, and you just sit there and you're just enjoying it. Would I want to ride it all day across the continent? No, I don't think I would. I'd like to take it out for a Sunday morning maybe, or down to the seaside or something like that. But the other thing about it is that when you do look at it, it's got some lovely, lovely touches on it. You know, not alone is it that, we've got this beautiful fan, fan exhaust here going on. I love the open drive shaft. You saw all of that in the video. So they've done a really good job of this bike. But let's go and look at the classic now. Look at it with this bike. What was interesting about it, the minute I rode it down the road, within the first five minutes, I thought, this feels different. Why is that? And then I stopped and I checked and I got off and had a look. The front wheel on this bike is a 16, whereas the standard R18 first edition, this is a first edition as well incidentally, is a 19. What's interesting though is that it's got a load more sidewall. I've checked, I've looked at the mud guard, I've looked at where all this stuff is, it's exactly the same. So what they've done is they put a smaller wheel in but you've got a lot more sidewall going on and that somehow has changed the feeling of the bike it certainly rode the bumps better definitely rode the bumps better i thought you could really hustle it on if you wanted to hustle it on you could really really hustle it on so that for me was a major thing all of the other stuff the frame and suspension is completely the same now there's other stuff that they've added into this one in the classic you have got cruise control and i like cruise control okay it's also got a screen I've got to be honest though, with the screen, anything over 40 miles an hour, my head was starting to buzz a little bit. So I would be a bit concerned about that and I would definitely be changing that screen or I'd be looking for a different screen. Love the idea of the screen though. The other differences with this bike, apart from the screen, is we've got a different headlight setup as well. So you've got these auxiliary lights and again, it's giving it that classic look of a cruiser. I really like this. There's a lot to think about the classic I really like. Then they've put the saddlebags on, okay? Okay, so the saddlebags, quite easy. There's a couple of clips here and you're in. There's not a lot of space in there, to be honest, but you could put a roll bag on there if you wanted to go away, for sure. And it would certainly work for you for a weekend, I'm, sh I'm sure. But that is the other thing about this bike that I suddenly realized. Yeah, I would could take this to France for a weekend or I would go cruising on it because it certainly feels the real complete package for me. The other thing they've done is a different exhaust. Again, it's got that cruiser look, that long straight exhaust. It's not the flared exhaust, which you could argue look a little bit better on the R18, but I actually prefer these. The interesting thing, and we'll show you that in the video in a moment, is that actually at 3000 RPM, these are going another 10 dB louder than the standard. That was quite a shock, but I noticed it when I was riding it on the road. I thought, oh, that's burbling a little bit and it's popping a little bit. It sounds a little bit better. Yeah. So, yeah, th there's lots of things about this bike, and then it comes back to that simple thing. It's a BMW, so it's quality. Okay, it's the little touches. This lovely emboss here in the seat with BMW. It's the chrome finish on it. It's the Berlin built. There's loads of things about this bike that I really like. A few years ago, I had a little flirtation with, uh, with a cruiser and it didn't work out well. I bought something from America. It wasn't a Harley Davidson, I'll let you guess yourself. But after 10 minutes, it felt like I was sitting on a broken bottle. I got rid of that. This is not like that. This bike is really nice. It's comfortable, it handles, and it goes like billy-o if you want it to. Um, 
yeah so r18 classic little things don't forget oh yeah we're going to show you the reverse gear in a minute as well um but yeah get yourself down to a bmw dealer if you're in the market for something like this or you're flirting with the idea get yourself down to a bmw dealer and try one of these because it's a bit of a shocker okay i think i said that before about other bikes but it is a shocker so um yeah give it a go Okay, so if you want to know how reverse gear works on this bike, because it is quite a big bike in some areas, and you know what it's like when you can be off camber sometimes, wheeling a heavy bike about, BMW have helped you. It's very simple. There's a lever down here. Put the lever down. It's now showing reverse gear there. And I press the start button. Goodbye. I'm just parking. And it's that easy. And thank you very much, BMW, for letting me out on the loose on both these bad boys. Thank you. Take care, everyone. And we'll see you again with another video soon. Mm -hmm.